Welcome to Naresai Technologies. This is Ramchandar. In this video, I am going to discussing about uh, a few methods related to java.util.stream.stream object. Here, in this video, especially I am going to talk about three methods like uh, any match, all match, none match. Any match, all match, none match. See, these three methods requires predicate as a parameter these methods required predicate as a parameter. What this predicate will do? It will takes one input and performing some operation and returns some value that is what your boolean value. Okay? Now, observe here the syntax of the syntax of predicate here is the syntax of predicate here is observe there is a method like test it will required input and returns what here any type of input it requires and gives what output as a boolean value. So, here all the three methods like any match, all match and none match all the three methods required input as what here predicate. So, here predicate internally performing some operation that is what condition checking once the element okay with the condition then it will returns what here uh, true okay now observe here this predicate allowed by what here any match method first let me discuss what is any match method what is any match functionality now for example i have five elements in the stream object so on top of the these five elements i'm going to apply one condition if any one of the element satisfy that condition then any match will returns what here true any one element satisfy our condition it will returns what here true all match and one more point here is any match if no element follow the or satisfy the condition then any match will returns output as what here false if it comes to the all match all the elements of a stream satisfy the given condition then it will returns what here true if any one of object not satisfy that condition it will returns what here false none match if no element follows or no element satisfy our condition then it will returns true otherwise it will returns what here false okay all the three methods uh, requires input as what here predicate and predicate always requires some input value and doing some operations and conditional checking on top of the input and finally it will giving what here either true or false nothing but boolean type let us work with uh, any match method programmatically now let me create one list object which is going to hold only string type of data now li equal to here I am taking uh, array list array list this is what your string yes now I am going to import the statements java.util.list okay and this is java.array list java.util.array list java.util.array list now I am going to add some elements I am going to add some elements to list object here li dot add li dot add here I am writing like uh, core java advanced java I am taking some course names oracle. Now I am writing like here li dot add off I am writing like aws data science ok. Now I am taking one i one more uh, element here I am taking like uh, html javascript yes. So, like this I have some string object. Now, I want to store all these object into list object. How can I very simple stream of string stream of string s equal to li dot which of which method stream method whatever the content which we have in the li all the things will be copied into barrier s. Now, observe here on top of the stream object I am applying any match method s dot any match s dot any match now any match allows a predicate 
as a parameter. Now, predicate allows what here? One input value. What is that value? String type of value. Here I am taking what here? String type of value. If you are not mentioned also, no problem. Okay. Now, I am taking lambda operator and open and closed curly braces and this is ended with the semicolon. Now, and it will returns, it will returns x starts with, x starts with, x starts with, here not any match, this is, this is not find any, this is any match. So, our first method is what here? Any match. Okay. Now, x, x dot, x dot starts with, x dot starts with core x dot starts with core. Now, this is ended with what uh, semicolon. Now, what it is going to returns? It is going to returns a boolean value. It is going to returns what here? Boolean value. Now, let me print, let me print uh, b, let me print boolean value here. Now, what I told you? Any match will returns what? Boolean either true or false. When it will returns true? whatever the condition I written here starts with the core or not. If any one object is satisfied, if any one object is satisfied that condition, then it will returns what here? True. Otherwise, it will returns what here? False. Now, if you are executing this program, you will get what here? True. The reason is, the first string starts with what here? Core Java. Nothing but it starts with what here? Core. Now, let me write, instead of core java, let me write like what here, java. Now, what I am going to get here, here I am going to get what here, false. That means, no object is matched with what here, our condition. If no object matched with the condition, then it will returns what here, false. That is why, we got output like what here, false itself. Clear. Now, next one. What is the next method here? All match. All match. Now, boolean b equal to s dot all match, s dot all match, all match is also requires what here, predicate as a parameter, predicate requires uh, one input value. Okay. Now, I am going to check one condition, what is the condition, s starts with, s starts with, starts with, what is that, java, what is that, java. Now, this is a statement ended with what here? Semicolon. Otherwise, if you have a confusing about this coding, let me write like this. Now, you will get the full pleasure of clarity. Yes. Good. Now, what is the value of B here? You will get output like what here? False only. You will get output like what here? False. What is the method here? All match. Now, what is the meaning of all match? What is the intention of the all match here is? whatever the condition we given here, that condition should satisfy what here, all the objects which are available in the where, stream object. So, here stream object we copied into st the stream object, we are copied all this data by using method like what here, li dot stream. Simply we can say, once we writing like li dot stream, whatever the content which we have in this uh, li, that will be placed into where, yes. Now, s dot all match means, from the s, fetching one input value that will be placed into where here x and that input value starts with nothing but first object java advanced java oracle dot starts with of java. Yes, it will returns what here true, condition is satisfied, but all match not only checks what here one object, it will check what here all the objects. If all the objects starts with the java, then only it will returns what here true, otherwise it will returns what here, false. So, in this time what we are getting what, false here. The reason is second and third objects are not satisfy the condition. Now, let me write here Java and also I am going to write here Java. So, all the three objects are starts with what here, Java only. So, definitely we will get output like what here, true. So, here any match means if any one object satisfy the condition, it will returns true, that is enough. All match means what here? Every object should follow the condition. If every object should follow the condition, it will returns true. Otherwise, it will returns what here? False. Now, the same thing I am going to apply on top of what uh, 
one more method what is that one more method none match none match what is the none match if no element satisfy the condition it will returns true if any one elements uh, satisfy the condition it will returns what here false itself so let me write let me write the code like this boolean boolean b equal to s dot none match s dot none match it will requires one uh, predicate none predicate requires one input value on top of this input we are performing some operations okay now what is that operation observe here now return return x dot starts with x dot starts with what here java x dot starts with uh, java x dot starts with the java and here i am writing like uh, system dot out dot println system dot out dot println i am printing the b value now here all the objects are matched if all the objects are matched the satisfy the condition or any one object is satisfy the condition it will always gives output as what here false only then when it is going to gives uh, true if no object is satisfy our condition if no object is satisfy our condition then only it will returns what here true now now observe this uh, output here now we got output like what true first uh, element not satisfy this condition second not satisfy third one not satisfy no object is starts with what here java that's what it will returns what here true okay now what is the internal flow first uh, we copied all these objects from list object to what here stream object and on top of this stream object we are calling the method like what none match and none match internally requires one predicate that predicate we are hand over in the form of what lambda expression that predicate internally requires one input value so whatever the object we have first in the stream object that will be placed into where x on top of the x we are calling which method starts with the method starts with the java yes all these three objects are not starts with the java that's why we got finally what here true now simply we can say any match if any one object is satisfy the condition returns true all match if each and every object satisfy the condition returns true none match if no object satisfy the condition then only it will returns true in remaining all the scenarios we will get what here false i hope you understand the usage of these three methods of stream object for more methods please subscribe naresai channel thank you